even I, you know, learned as we went and, and saw, wait a minute, okay, I got to do it this way or I got to do it this way. It wasn't until 2012 that the SEC really came in, into their own and said, okay, but there's no rules. The SEC never came out and said, you got to do it this way, you got to do it this way, you got to do it this way, which makes EB-5 very unique. You really better know what you're doing because there's no rule book. There's no, there's no you know, idea of, here, follow this rule, follow this rule, and follow this rule. That's what Senator Grassley wants to put in. And that's what I like. You know, I would rather have bright lines, things that are out there. And so you know, I think CNB has been at the forefront of the idea of being one of the most forthright and upcoming you know, regional centers than the idea of protecting the investor. I mean, we were one of the first ones to say, we're going to audit all of our partnerships. And we didn't say, let's start auditing them from now. We went back to inception and said, hey, go and audit everything, all the way back from we first started, all the way up to today, to show that every penny is exactly where it's supposed to be, that there was no hanky-panky and any kind of money or anything along that line, that the financials you know, are clean as a whistle. We want our investors to know that, that this is how it's going to happen. But some of this needs to be mandated because, you know, as I said, CMB, I felt, led the way in audited financials. We were the first ones to do it from inception on every partnership. You know, others have followed since. And the, the, the point is, is not everybody's following it. So why don't we have a set of rules that says this is what you need to do to provide financial transparency, to have best practices on how a regional center um, is, is to uh, operate and behave. I think Senator Grassley is a wonderful guy and I think he's a, he's a reformist you know, through, through everything and, and, and I think he's known for that in the Senate. I've worked with Senator Grassley's office, I, I don't know how far back it goes, 10, 15 years. Um, you know, his position today is kill it or reform it. I, I understand it. And from a legislator, I got it. So let's work really hard to get this reform. Let's make sure that we put checks and balances in there on both sides of the fence, not only from the immigration side, from the immigrant investor, but also from the regional center perspective. And those individuals that are really, you know, overall the governance of how things happen, what goes on, there should be rules and regulations. You give me the rules, I'll follow them. Just don't leave it wide open for people to interpret things because that causes problems. That's where the issues have come in EB-5. And I'll give you one example. It went rampant with the, with the target employment area. Why is it that 98 to 99% of all the investors under the $500,000 program, let's just start from 2007 all the way to when they changed the law, how many? million dollar programs were there in the United States. Almost none. Does that mean that the entire United States was high unemployment? Because everybody was doing the 500,000, which meant the whole country qualified for target employment area. That's crazy. That just shows you the abuses that were within the program. And, and I have no problem touting that and saying it. But look what's happened. USCIS took the bull by the horns. They've stopped it. You cannot gerrymander the target employment area today. You can't do it. You know what's interesting? Why is it that when that happened, CMB was able to go and say, okay, as soon as the, the, the regulations were put into effect, we didn't lose, we didn't skip a beat, boom. We, all we had to do on our projects was up the dollar amount from 500 to 900. And why is it that our same project that was on the previous regulations now qualified under the current regulations? Could we have predicted what those regulations were? The answer is simply this. We worked in high unemployment areas, qualified high unemployments for our whole time. We know how to do it. It was no issue for us to make that change. The only issue was, was 900,000. We have two partnerships that are hybrids. In other words, they got $500,000 investors and now they got $900,000 investors. How is that possible? It's because it qualified as a target in unemployment area under the old reg and under the new reg. And you know how many other regional centers are completely out of business? because they can't operate anymore. Why is that? Because they were cheating the system. They were cheating it. They were, they were gerrymandering these target employment areas. And you know, kudos to the USCIS for actually coming up with a target employment area that can't be gerrymandered, that it has to be, this is the rule, this is what you'll follow. 
I like that, and I think the country will like that, and I think EB-5 is going to like it. Um, I look forward to the day that we can get some proper legislation and, and uh, get some integrity measures put through and to see a situation where we get a six-year extension and maybe some visa relief. But for right now, we have to take it a day at a time and we have to fight for everything we get. As we talked about before, Senator Grassley wants reform of the program or kill it. So the first thing I think that we need to be able to get you know, a long-term reauthorization is integrity measures pushed in so that our legislators and our, our, our Congress and our Senate know that the EB-5 now has the reforms that it needs to be able to move into the future. And then they'll set that future. I don't believe you'll ever see a, a long-term reauthorization without some type of reform for EB-5. We might get integrity reform and a six-year reauthorization. That makes sense. First, let's get the integrity measures. Second, let's get the permanency of the program, okay? Third, let's get more visa availability so we can get more investment and jobs, jobs, jobs in the United States.